upright angel joints in here with an email reply. And every week in, when I'm in this fitness thing, I have a theme. Uh, it's like I get a load of emails on a theme. It seems, seems one thing always just seems to stand out amongst the emails. And this week, the theme is volume. Okay. Hey, love your videos. Great resource. Keep it up. Big ups from down under. I'm 18, 73 kilos, and I've had a shoulder reconstruction from rugby, so I can't like perform a lot of exercise. Ziz, I'd like to, which sucks. <laughs> which sucks. I'm not gonna say the word he actually said. Um, a shoulder reconstruction is way outside of my knowledge area. I mean, you need to make sure you what you're doing is perfectly safe, and you you really do need to consult a medical professional what you can and can't do. So I'm gonna continue from here, assuming you can do all of the main lifts. Um, so if that's not the case, send me another email. I will edit this uh, this reply. Um, this is based on you later send me a workout plan. So you know this is based on that. So I'm assuming you can do the main lifts. Anyway. I was wondering, I just started working out at the gym one month in. I began with a fairly low body fat percentage, around 11 to 12. I was really into cardio, LOL. My uh, question is this, full body workout three days a week or like an upper body split? I'm a beginner, so please factor that in. Okay, full body or, or upper and lower, do full body. Full body will allow you to hit the muscle groups more often. More often means more muscle. It's simple as that. Uh, um, at the moment, I'm going with a free full body workout uh, workouts a week. Good. See the attached word doc. I heard this is good for beginners who are fit. It's good for beginners that are beginners. Um, and by beginner, I mean you don't look like a bodybuilder. If you don't look like a bodybuilder, you're still a beginner, which means you should be doing this routine. This routine is here. Bring my light. Uh, I was going to do this for another two months or so, or three, so three months in total, sorry. Then go for an upper, lower body split four times, four workouts a week. You see, people believe that. Uh, being a novice is someone that's really, 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 really weak and then being not a novice anymore is once you can see your biceps kind of and when you bench it's approaching your body weight and you know you are someone that lifts and people have noticed and said to you, oh you're going to the gym. You are still a novice at that point and to bring that into perspective, I am still a novice at this point. So if you look at my training look what you here and you're not stronger than me, you are a novice, definitely. In fact, if you are stronger than me, you may still be a novice. So, this is a novice program, do the novice program. Now, the main point of this video is volume, and this is your workout. Now, any of my subscribers that have been subscribed for a long time and know my views on certain things will know what my view on this workout is before it starts. Current full body workout, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, legs. Leg press, two sets of 14, wide sort of stance, then two sets of 14, close stance. Weighted lunges, two sets of 12. Calf raises, 10 kilos, two sets of 13. Ham raises, two sets of 12. Leg extensions, two sets of 12. Back, cable rows, two sets of eight. Bent over rows, two sets of eight. Intended on doing pull-ups, ASAP with shoulder and lat pull-downs. Chest, rotate a cuff, warm up sideways, lying on the floor, ins and outs. By the way, that's a really good thing to do. You know, warming up your rotator cuff is key, yeah. Uh, Incline, dumbbell press, two sets of eight. Flat barbell bench, two sets of eight. Shoulders, one is messed up. Standing shoulder raises, front delt, two sets of eight. Standing side raises, so I'm gonna have to put like a dissolve in this because you, 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 you get in the vibe of how long this is, yeah. Uh, delt flies, back delt, two sets of eight. Your delt flies, good stuff. Um, face pull, stuff like that. It's good to get the bread delts working, but if you've got a good full body workout, you don't need it. Anyway, arms, hammer curls, two sets of eight. Standing outward, constrictive, concentric, concentration. We'll get there. Curls, two sets of eight. Sitting concentration curls, two sets of eight. Tricep kickbacks, two sets of eight. Tricep pull downs with a rope, two sets of eight. Core weighted down, decline, ab crunches, bridge, plank, four minutes. That was two sets of eight for the one before. And trap shrugs, two sets of eight. All in about one hour and 15 minutes to one hour and 35 minutes. First of all, if you're working out to intensity, as in the max your muscles can do, there's no way on earth you could finish that in, in an hour or two, or four, in fact. That is way too much volume. It's not even just way too much volume, it's like someone that knows me for, this would be funny if I sent this to him and he'd be like, ha ha, because he'd do a video reply, but really I know it's just too much volume and it's a trick that I've played on Bradley, ha ha. That is how much too volume it is comically too much volume. And this is what happens when you write your own programs, because I know you must have written this one. I would be, I would be tearful if a fitness professional wrote this program for somebody. This is way, way, way too much volume, especially for somebody who right at the start of the email told me they uh, have had shoulder reconstructive surgery and really needs to 
keep your volume to a minimum so as not to stress that injury. Every time you do, so let's, let's, let's go through it for your shoulder, right? Okay, let's start, you do your cable rows, yeah? Two sets of eight, 16 times you do this, yeah, with heavy weight. Then you do bent over rows, yeah? Let's assume this is the shoulder, yeah? 16 times you do that, yeah? Then you do chest, you do rotator cuff warm-ups and stuff. After that, you do incline bench press 16 times, yeah? Then you do flat bench press 16 times. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, yeah? Okay, then you do standing front shoulder raises 16 times. You do side raises 16 times. You do rear delt flies 16 times. You do hammer curls eight. And I'm telling you, anyone that does curls is gonna bring some shoulder into it. Watch, curl, curl. 16 times, you do stand it out with concentration curls, 16 times. You do tricep kickbacks, no way to isolate that from your shoulder. It may look like it's isolated, but it's being at least held isometrically and it probably is held, is, is contributing to the movement as most people do when they do it. Then you do tricep pull downs, of course, being held isometrically, but still you're gonna be trying to get a little bit of shoulder into it, 16 times. Then <laughs> you do some shrugs which work the entire girdle. Your shoulders are being annihilated in this workout. Um, unless you're doing it really, really, really light, which means you're not building any muscle anyway. So, you're gonna build some muscle because anything you do to resistance more than you were doing nothing will build muscle. But, in terms of optimal gains, your volume is too high, and it is the problem I'm having with all of the things I'm being sent this week. People are trying to replace intensity with volume, and it does not work. You cannot cheat putting in 100% of yourself into a small amount of lift and, and replace that with just doing loads of lift to make sure you hit the muscle from every angle. Doing all this, these various techniques, they're great. They've got nice little images in gyms and all the men's health magazines and all the other fitness magazines and whatnot say do all these stupid exercises to build muscle. They're foolishness. For a novice trainee to work your entire chest, you just need a flat barbell bench and it will give you all the chest strength you need. That's all you need. To work your, your legs, you just need squats. That's it, you're good, yeah? Adding deadlifts to that, and you're more than good, yeah? To work your back, bent over rows, coupled with the deadlifts, coupled with some pull-ups, yeah? Is much more than enough, because the bent over rows will do it on its own, yeah? In terms of your shoulder, working your back, yeah? Shoulder, plus press, shoulder, plus bench, yeah? maybe some close grips and stuff as is in my workouts and stuff, works your shoulder. You don't need too much specific shoulder work because you're a novice and you're gonna be lifting heavy, uh, moving the shoulder joint, moving it back and forth, which will work the entire shoulder joint, yeah? So all this, all this stuff, it just needs to go. It needs, it needs to go. What you're trying to do is fit in every exercise so you make sure your muscles hit from every point. That is a nice notion. What is a better notion is concentrating on the very few lifts that you do. So here is my training log. Please click the link at the bottom if you need more explanation on exactly how that workout works. Do that, scrap this, literally don't ever do it for the remainder of your natural life. It is way too much um, volume. It's, um, it's either, you're even not getting hardly any gains from it because you're not doing it to intensity, which is definitely what's happening because it's too short in time. If it's only taken an hour to do what has to be about 50 sets, then there's no way you're going to anything like intensity, which means it's, it's, you know, it's basically cardio anyway. And if you are going to intensity, you're just annihilating these joints, annihilating them. Just thinking about me doing this is terrifying to me. I would be, not to mention about like halfway in, you'd just be like, Ugh, what's next? Um, so yeah, scrap that, go back to, um, go back to, go to what I said. If you want to cut, you, you mentioned body fat. Here's my Excel work, tells you how to cut badge method, uh, calorie, uh, macro calculator and um, diet planner. And my training logs will get you with your training. Volume, forget, lift well, good. I only do 12 lifts, 12. Brandon and Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, of course, subscribe.